guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos like once or twice a week. Today's video is a highly requested one, the first time anyone or anybody's has ever requested anything and that is my DIY setting spray. I have been making this setting spray for about mm, seven or eight months. So today I am going to give you sort of step-by-step -step instructions as well as measurements even though in real life I sort of just eyeball it now and pour it all into some sort of spray-like container. So go ahead and grab an old, you know, setting spray bottle. Need a funnel. If you don't have a funnel, make one. I made one out of wax paper today. Genius right? We'll need purified water, bottled water. If your refrigerator has purified water, just grab water from the fridge. It'll work the same. Aloe vera. Love aloe vera. It's soothing. It's wonderful for dry skin. Even though I'm combination to oily skin, I definitely recommend having some sort of moisturizing agent in this spray because it just feels nice. Yes. I do put witch hazel in mine. You can or cannot, depending on your skin type. If you're extremely dry, then I suggest just skipping the witch hazel altogether. Or find a witch hazel that is basically 100% natural and 100% alcohol free. You will need glycerin. Glycerin is basically like the second ingredient in almost every single setting spray. The first ingredient is water and then it goes to glycerin. And then there's other like um, extracts or sort of flavors or scents that goes into that spray. So it's basically just water and glycerin, you guys. So buy yourself some of this. This cost me like $3 and yeah, I've been making my own setting spray for seven months. Look at how far I've gotten. Not even halfway done. Amazing. And it lasts forever. Last and certainly not least, again, this is sort of optional. You don't have to put this in, but essential oils for, you know, fragrance. I picked one that's got a grapefruit scent because I thought refreshing grapefruit sounds so good in a setting spray. Some people put lavender, other people put chamomile. You honestly can put whatever you want. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into this video, shall we? So again, first thing you're going to need is sort of an empty bottle. I have this one uh, since I just finished this product. Um, Again, I recycle my old bottles. I like the nozzles on these sprays, so I sort of just use them again. Find any sort of little, you know, spray bottle in the, um, I believe the travel section of any sort of store like Target or Walmart. This one also used to have that. Now it just has water in it because Cecilia needs one in her life too. Right, Cecilia? Right. You're going to measure one tablespoon of glycerin. And you can go ahead and pour it into um, sort of your measuring cup here. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of purified water. One. Oh! Two. I'm gonna add just a little bit more because I sort of just dropped a ton of it on my lap. Stir it together until it's very, very well incorporated sort of not see any clumps. I'm sorry, my measuring cup is super cloudy. Mix a little bit more. And then you're gonna add one tablespoon of witch hazel. Then I'm gonna do one tablespoon of aloe vera. Beautiful. And basically just mix this until it sort of just becomes a liquid and you don't really see very many chunks. If you have a whisk, you can also whisk it. That might be Smarter. I don't know why I never thought of that. Mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them, mix together. So I'm gonna add about two to three drops of this. One, two, three. Mix it all up. Gosh, it smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and take my DIY funnel here and pour this on it. I'm gonna totally spill this everywhere. Sometimes my little DIY funnel needs a little help. Just replace this cap back on. Operation is normal in this setting spray since there is aloe vera and glycerin in it. So I always recommend giving it a good shake even though I've been stirring it like crazy. And then I'm going to spray my beautiful face with this stuff. Of course, test it out before, you know, you don't want sort of like large streams hitting your face. 
it feels so nice every time. So the great thing about this recipe is not only can I use it to spray my entire face to give me sort of that radiance um, or glow, you know, it melts my powders into my foundation to make my makeup look, you know, gorgeous or flawless. And that's why I love my sort of DIY spray. Also intensifies the pigment in all of my foiled eyeshadows. So I grabbed my uh, foiled eyeshadows by BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna go ahead and demo what this does. So I've got a brush here also by BH Cosmetics and I am going to go into, let's do this purple here since it's so pretty and vibrant. And of course my brush right now is dry. Um, it's picked up some product there. I'm going to swatch it on the, sorry about my bug bite. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. As you can see, you know, it's not as pigmented as I want it to be. Um, foil eyeshadows do work a lot better with your fingers. And I will show you a swatch with my finger here right above it and do you see how intense that is it's such a difference it's so crazy to see that now what i'm going to do is go back in with that same brush i'm going to sort of wipe it away so that there's no like leftover product in it so that you know i'm not cheating you or anything like that i'm going to go back into that same purple and sort of dip it in pretty good amount of powder there i'm going to go ahead and spray uh the brush with the product on it generously since this is my own setting spray I can use as much as I want and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right underneath do you see that isn't that fantastic just completely intensified it so again this is my finger swatch this is the dry product or the dry brush and then this is the wet brush I love it I love that I can just do that and being free to use setting spray deliberately without thinking I'm gonna run out and I'm gonna have to buy it soon is amazing it is like liberating it's like freedom such a drama queen sometimes but but yeah i wanted to show you guys you know sort of my little diy if you do recreate this please let me know i would love to see if it works for you guys um again tweak the recipe any which way you want you all know your skin better than i do if you guys like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and spread my love for makeup and i will see you guys sometime later this week Bye-bye!